hello everyone i hope all of you are doing good and keep learning because in this session i am going to teach you how we can uh, implement a practical uh, lab in aws so i'm going to show you how i have created s3 bucket in a practical project so i will show you everything in in upcoming videos of aws so let's keep learning this s3 bucket so what we will do is we will create our one s3 bucket and we will drop the file sample file which is available in the resources attached with this project inside this s3 bucket and then from there onwards we will create the adf to pull the data from this s3 bucket for this you might need a s3 account or aws account so you have to go and create a free amazon web service account if you don't have it please go and create it i already have it so i'm using the same so let's move to the aws portal where we will going to create our bucket and i will going to drop the our sample file in that bucket <clears throat> so this is the aws console or portal I already have an account so I logged in with that my default account. So now you go and search for a S3 service. So that is a simple storage service by AWS. So in that we will create one bucket. It this service is quite similar to the Azure Blob storage service where you can store the data. So here you get an option to create a bucket. So let's create a bucket. <clears throat> I give the name as IoT Data. I keep everything else as default. I want to allow the public access so that we'll be able to access it. And let me create this bucket. Okay, it's saying save name exist. So let's change the name to IoT Data One One. It is asking to ensure that we are acknowledging that we have enabled it for public access. So let's select that and create the bucket. So our bucket got created successfully. Now our task is to put the sample data inside it. So first, as we know that this data will be sent on a daily basis. So let's create a folder. In the format, let's say year. Then inside that, let's create another folder that is for the month. So the current month is January. So I'll use that. Then inside the January, let's create the date. So assume date is 15. Sorry. So let's create 15. So we got this path, year, month, and then this day. And inside that, let's upload our file. Click on add file. I just go to my project. You will find this file within the resource attached with this project. So this file got uh, selected and let me click this upload. So this file is successfully uploaded at this path. So you can imagine that all the IoT devices will sense that these kind of JSON and it will get saved in the AWS bucket in this format year, month and day. 
so all the files for a specific day will come inside this day folder and for the next day it will come in the next day folder so in the next session we will see how we can uh, connect this aws storage account with the adf in this session we will going to create the azure data lake storage account which is our landing folder so if you remember our architecture diagram you can see that once our file moved from the aws s3 storage it need to be placed within the landing folder in the storage account so for that we need to create the storage account so let's go to the azure portal and create the landing folder so i'm on my azure portal so in this azure portal you go and select and search storage account i have couple of already created storage account so i can see all of them it is not mandatory to create a new storage account if you already have an storage account and if you want to use that itself you can use that also but i am showing it for people who does not have any storage account so let's see how we can create the storage account so click on create this will take you to the storage account blend again like for any resource azure will always ask you the subscription in which you want to create so you can select the subscription it will ask you to create the the source group so i am selecting the project 1 the source group which is the same resource group which we have create used for creating the adf account then it ask me the storage account name so i'm just giving storage project 1 you can give any name as per your convenience because if i take up this name you prob probably will not able to give the same name because your storage account name need to be unique across the all azure client you can select the performance as a standard itself redundancy level if you want to lower it down just for a testing purpose you can use local redundant or you can keep zero redundant it's up to you move to the next advance here if you go scroll down little bit here you will see enable hierarchical namespace so if you select this then this storage account will get converted into adls gen2 account so just select that rest you can keep as it is click on you can keep all this default and you can click on next again you can click next keeping everything as default again next and finally you click on review plus create this will create your first azure account i'm sorry azure storage account it will take some time maybe few seconds so i will fast forward it now you can see that our storage account has been created so let's click on go to resource this will take me to the storage account now here you can see data lake storage so click on that let's create the container so click on container i'm giving name as input and click on create so this will create a container named input inside my storage account now here inside this storage account container let's create a one folder that is our landing so this is the folder where i want to see all my file get dropped 
from AWS. So this will be the our landing fold. That's all for this session. We'll see you in the next session.